Hi, and welcome to Welland Park. I am here today live at Welland Park on the main street. Um, it is mostly close to traffic, uh, but I am getting a few cars coming through here. And um, today I wanted to tell you some of the highlights about Welland Park that I learned when I stopped over at the Welcome Center. And also talk about how is Welland Park different from Lakewood Ranch. So if this is something of interest to you, please stick around for all the details. Hi, I'm JJ Williams with Michael Saunders and Company. And on this channel, Living in Lakewood Ranch, we talk about all things Lakewood Ranch and the surrounding areas. And today I'm here in Welland Park and Welland Park would be considered a surrounding area. It's uh, to the south of Lakewood Ranch down I-75. You get off the River Road exit and then it's about four miles down River Road um, heading west towards the beach and we're here in Welland Park. Welland Park started 15 years ago um, as the uh, West Villages uh, it was known as and there were several nice communities built here and then four years ago the Welland Park brand uh, was launched. Um, I'm sure it was many years in the making but uh, they started to actually build homes in Welland Park and now here we are four years into the development and they're getting ready to really make this downtown uh, Welland Park a, um, a real go-to, fun, eventful place. There are many, many restaurants, shops, uh, all of these wonderful tenants and a uh, bulk of them will be opening in uh, end of May and early June. Um, and while I was setting up today, I ran into the general manager for an upcoming restaurant that's getting a lot of buzz, the Banyan Tree. Uh, so in his words, it is a chef-inspired menu, um, very international flair, um, and he sounds really excited and proud of this coming soon restaurant. So uh, when I stopped at uh, the information center, their welcome center, uh, as it's known, they gave me this lovely handout. Um, and in the middle of the handout is a wonderful map of Welland Park. Um, and then this shows the active, actively selling, being constructed now homes. People are buying and living in these communities now. Um, and there's 10 of them with five different builders. And you can see those are the blue communities. These communities here, the ones that are in gray, those are already sold out, so only resale is available there. And um, these are, uh, many of them are West Villages, also considered part of Welland Park. Coming soon is the pink areas, and so there will be five additional builders going to be coming to the area to build. Um, so some of you may be wondering, what, what are the price, prices uh, of the homes that are being offered now, today? So I did uh, reach out to several of the on-site agents uh, to find out what, what are the offerings here. And specifically speaking of single family homes, um, single family homes will be starting in the upper 400s and then going to just about 2 million at this point. So a real spectrum of offerings. I also wanted to mention that um, all of the communities in Welland Park are gated. Uh, some of them um, have, are very amenity rich. Uh, some don't have any amenities at all. So, you know, depending on what your personal choice is. So at 13,000 acres, uh, that's what the master plan community uh, Welling Park is. It's about half the size of Lakewood Ranch. Um, the other uh, things coming to Welland Park are several schools already slated and a hospital. Uh, so the property is already, um, you know, either being developed or, um, you know, the ground has already been broken, but a lot of good infrastructure going on here. Another big highlight of the area is the Cool Today Braves Spring Training Stadium that is right down the street here. And uh, the, the spring training season is only six weeks, but they do have an event, uh, she called it, what was it? Oh, an event team um, that runs events 12 months a year. So you have live music, concerts, free concerts, picnics, um, holiday events, uh, um, uh, Easter egg hunt, and 
uh, prayed for Halloween, many things for the Christmas holiday season. There are also restaurants uh, open year round over at Cool Today Stadium. Also similar to Lakewood Ranch is uh, Waterside is the large lake that this community is built on. It is magnificent and beautiful and there seems to be a constant breeze off of it similar to what we experience over at Waterside. It's lovely. Uh, lots of green areas for uh, people to come and enjoy and uh, it's just it's uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to be here. Uh, the architecture is very similar to uh, Waterside, so this will feel familiar to you to, for those of you who have been to Waterside. I did reach out to a few of the on-site agents uh, for some of the builders here to get more detailed information on what they're offering. Um, so Grand Place is a Sam Rogers community. Sam Rogers is a local builder um, and they're offering homes starting at 1066000 and up. Um, Boca Royale, which is an older community with a new section that Neil, is, Neil Signature is building in. Uh, they have both Neil Community and Neil Signature, but the Neil Signature homes are starting at 1,600,000. Um, and I uh, was in one of those homes and they are magnificent. Um, and then also by Neil, Avelina, a lovely home, stately, large lots, uh, no amenities in Avelina, uh, but those are starting in the upper 700s at this point in time. So um, uh, if you want any more information about those homes or anything else about here in Welland Park, I'll put a link uh, in the description below so you can reach out to me and happy to help you in any way I can. I hope that you saw recently that my colleague Mark Baymig posted a market update uh, what's going on in the Lakewood Ranch market and uh, uh, I will uh, encourage you to take a look at that as well and uh, thank you for joining me today.